We're going to try this uh, J series in our uh, 81 Civic, see if it fits. Ready, guys? Okay. Check that corner. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. No way. No way. Call that right there. Yeah. Right there. All these hoses are in the way. Okay, go back up, Carter. Just back up a little bit, Carter. Let me get some. Here. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So we need to take the header shield off? Okay, you still got some space. There you go. Go ahead. You see that nut or that bolt? Oh yeah, the bolt. I think like we, if we fired it back up, knocked it in because we pulled it out when we fired down the bolt. So I think it's out that extra quarter inch. Did it bend the bracket or something? No. All right, so. Well, it bent the subframe. Yeah. I don't know that it did all that, but see, you could see this, this lip right here. Yep. That's basically the only thing that's holding it up from it clearing that nut or that bolt. Okay. Here, let me check this out. You're gonna scratch the paint. It's okay, it's not the worst thing I've done on this car. Well, it somewhat fits. <laughs> That's unbelievable. It fits better than a K. It did. It did. It did. J Series A1 Civic. This motor is actually narrower than the K Series motor, so uh, it would be easier to make it fit. Uh, basically, if we wanted to put a J in an A1 Civic, what I would do is uh, on this frame rail over here, see right down here, I would probably bring this up probably about four inches. Uh, just kind of, you know, like the, you know, just put a nice arc in there. And uh, then we would actually be able to have a J series in an 81 Civic. Uh, it would hang down less than it does in an EG or an EK. That would be pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to donate a J series to the project? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now here's the change. We have one last motor to try in the car. This is actually the L15 V7 turbo motor. Comes in the new Civic SI. Uh, complete with six-speed transmission. Uh, it's kind of an interesting motor. It's not really pretty, so I am having a difficult time talking my son into letting us put it in this car, at least permanently, but uh, we want to try and see if it fits. I actually think this engine will be an okay fit for this car. It's really tall in the front, and the 80 Civic has a tall front end. The front end doesn't slope down like it does on the EG, KEF, so I think it might actually fit in the car. Uh, 1.5 liters, slightly smaller than the um, uh, B series motors. The problem is that the transmission is a six speed, so it's a little bit longer. So maybe a wash on the whole override, all, all size of the thing. But we want to try it in, see what it looks like. I'll tell you what, if this engine fits in this car, I think I'm gonna have to put it in my 77 Civic. I think that would be amazing having the first generation Civic with the latest generation engine, I think that'd be really cool. Anyway, we're gonna try it in right now. Unless that 
corner right yeah, there. Yeah, it's just hose. It'll be fine. Okay. You can collapse it. <laughs> now, zero to one. Yeah, it's going to clear back there, too. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. I'm shocked to shit myself. What does it look like over there? How much room? I, I'm talking. I got. I got a full hand. All right, let's scoot it up a little bit. Uh, a little bit more. And stop. Oh, so close. If we could go down another eighth of an inch, we'll probably shift it over. Let's try to twist it. All right, go down. Keep going. Touch it. Stop for a second. Right on that. Yeah, touching there. It just needs a tiny bit of pound in it, Ben. We are like about an eighth of an inch from actually fitting in this car. Wow. The uh, alternator, which is on the back side of the motor, is touching the frame rail. You can see it right down here. So it probably could, with a little movement of the sheet metal, go back a little bit. Over here on this side with the transmission, Probably could use about a half inch of uh, moving the frame rail, so it'd be pretty close. We're obviously touching up front here. The engine is kind of high. We need to go down about two, two and a half inches, and then if we shifted the motor back about an inch, it would fit. It would clear. It would actually fit. It would actually clear. Yeah. Wow. Yep. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm going to have to grab my 77 Civic over here and uh, try this motor in it and see if it's going to fit. Uh, I'll tell you, it's super close fitting in this car. It would not be hard to move a little sheet metal around and get it to fit in here. That would be really cool. Uh, I wish the motor was prettier. There's just so much stuff going on here on top. There's like the water cooling for the for the turbo. There's vacuum. Well, it's probably a purge valve, I'm guessing. Uh, obviously, the intake comes up over top of the top of the engine, which makes it kind of tall. But I don't think it's too tall. I think it would actually fit. There's plenty of room behind. Oh, yeah. If we just move this frame rail over about half an inch. Put a little dent in here for the alternator, It'll fit. shift the motor back, it would fit really well. Well that's a little food for thought. If you've got an 81 Civic that's looking for a motor, I think this is a valid choice. Obviously the electronics are going to be a little bit uh, beyond a lot of people's <laughs> ability to wire. But uh, we'll figure out the swap here before too long. We'll tell you how to do it. Cool. All right.